everybody. Let's get a quick reading going. Let's see. What for the spirit? Oh my god, they're talking a lot. I just tried to shuffle. We need to know spirit. <gasps> Look at you reaching a milestone. Some of you are graduating. Some of you are getting a promotion. Some of you are getting engaged. Some of you are pregnant, having a baby. This is a big life-changing moment. Could be moving. Reach some kind of level in your career. Ooh. Equal give and take. So some of you, this is about work. Finally appreciating and paying your worth. Others, um, this is meeting a soulmate or uh, engagement, or meeting the one. Okay, so this is about career. They're clarifying. This is not about love right now. Um, this is about equal give and take in the workplace. You're reaching some kind of career success that you've always dreamed of, but it is a lot more stressful. It's a lot more work. It's a lot more riding on you, but it's good at the same time. Don't stress. Some of you could be a healer um, or in the medical field. But I think you're going to heal from financial things. You're going to heal from the stress. Um, maybe talk to someone about it outside of work. Um, it doesn't have to be therapy. It could just be going to get a massage to loosen up your muscles to help with the stress. Okay, so you're definitely stuck in your head about the past, um, past failures, or you can't move on. You're replaying all the things that went wrong. Why are you doing this? You're missing and longing for something. You're not feeling, this came out in reverse. You're longing for that sense of accomplishment. Okay, so this is a little bit fu futuristic. This milestone is coming for most of you. It's right around the corner. You don't see it coming. You're in this um, woe is me kind of like, oh, I'm never going to reach that. I'm never going to get the promotion. They're never going to pick me. Spirit wants you to get out of this stress, um, projecting negative stuff because this is confirmation that it is in fact coming. Um, maybe they want you to be more professional, not show your emotions, or if you have been, it's time to be a little bit more human, uh, a little bit softer to help get this um, going. Maybe you, either, you will understand where you're at in this. Either you've been too frosty or you've been too emotional, and there's nothing wrong with being emotional, but if you're trying to get a promotion, it's like, to me, it's like take the emotion and stay professional, or it's not enough to just be professional. You have to relate to them as a person. I feel like you will know which way to go with that. Yeah, be thankful. Come out of this frosty, like, I think this is where you're at now, like, oh. Nothing is working out. They don't appreciate me. Come out of this energy. Be thankful because that you are about to have that milestone. And I think they are about to show you how grateful they are for you. I think you are putting on a facade that you're going to quit or that you can do things. You might be being a little bit stubborn or this is your boss energy being a little bit stubborn. Shedding responsibility. Uh... There is definitely karmic energy here. This could be a co-worker. Tell me what this passing the buck, shedding the responsibility is. Lost in reverse. So, so somebody could be singing your praises at work. Being thankful for you. Like... So-and-so helps me all the time. This could be is what bringing, bringing in that milestone as far as the career. Positive word of mouth. Um, but I don't feel like this is passing the buck. See how it says responsibility? I feel like everybody goes to you. You're the responsible one. And I think your co-workers or people you work around are just going to be appreciative of you being a good boss or you being a, a co-worker. Um, 
you could be getting some hate from somebody who's jealous here. Just laugh it off, or maybe that's what you have been doing. If anybody is talking shit about you at work, I do see your boss is laughing it off. Like, are you, you're crazy. This person works hard. Why is laughing off haterade here? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a really, it's been a really toxic environment and you've just, you've kind of been that frosty one, like, <laughs> whatever. And it, even if it really does bother you, there's a lot of competition here. I don't know what you do for a living, but there's a lot of competition and it's been eating at you. It's been very toxic and you've been trying to just laugh it off. You do have support here. Let's talk about the support. Standing your ground, um, leaving toxic situ situations came in reverse. Somebody's refusing to move on. Somebody's watching you, looking um, for dirt on you to make you look bad, especially in the workplace. Smear your name. Um, this could be a karmic energy. You are... I feel like somebody... You got a couple things going on in, in, in your career. You have somebody who's pretending to be a friend talking shit behind your back, but then you also have people that are talking good about you and um, very supportive of what you're doing. But then you have like a lover, haters that are just like smearing your name, very hateful of this success. I feel like they know is coming for you or that you've reached. Yeah, good luck is on your side. You, luck is in your favor, especially with management or... Um, your industry you're doing well some of you might um, be in the public eye or about to be uh, might be on the news for something but yeah leader leader of a company leader of a position there's that stalker somebody can't let go of you it could be somebody who's currently pregnant um, But this is also the energy of watching this new start for you. Like somebody, yeah, this is somebody you blocked. You're trying to move past. They're trying to stop something from you. This could be a lover here trying to cause problems in the workplace for you or for your reputation. Why is scared living in fear here? can't make this up somebody's pissed i feel like for some of you it's an ex an ex-friend um maybe somebody you who lost to you for a promotion why is empathy here there's a drama stir there's a pot stir they have a revenge haters competition yeah they're out to get you they're scared of the success you're about to get You've had empathy for them. I feel like you've given it your best. This could be a public uh, situation. Yeah, somebody's trying to raise some disaster here. How's it going to go for you? Look at you, self-love. You're going to either moving on with a new person. They're not able to smear or hurt your career in any way. You're putting your heart into it. You're being yourself. You're being loving. People are going to see your truth. I just see you staying high vibed and these low vibrational people getting even more pissed as you keep moving up. Yeah, they're going to have a temper tantrum. They want you to have a temper tantrum and make you look bad. Don't allow anybody to manipulate you. Yeah, don't compromise. Set those boundaries. No, this is the workplace. We're not doing this here. Or no, we're not taking you back. We're not friends. We are over. We are done. There, I got the job. You didn't. We need to move on. Keep those firm boundaries. Because this karmic -y person, man. Yeah. Healing isolation. I feel like you've asked for this and they're not going to respect it. They're not going to respect, respect the boundaries because they want to push you and make you look bad. They want you to lash out. I think that you, you need to protect yourself. Yeah. Listen to your intuition. Spirit's going to try to warn you. Don't worry about lack of confidence. Everything is working in your favor. Just stay in the light. Connect to spirit. They're going to help you. 
and don't be resentful of these people. Don't turn and yeah, just speak your 